Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Finishing up our hard mode grinding here. Lazarus Boss Rush or Samson Chest. I'm gonna choose Samson Chest out of those. Um, because 2L4X, this is me communicating with my home planet. 2L4X, F, D, T, J. Wonderful. We are, uh, we're choosing this just because it's a little bit more interesting, right? Like instead of a boss rush, I mean, I, sh I shouldn't be shit talking content that is eventually gonna come up on my channel, probably. Good salesmanship. Uh, 10 bombs is fine by me on a hard mode run. As long as I don't waste these and I, I treat them as if they're, you know, if I only have one bomb at a time, but I can do it 10 times, if you know what I mean. Um, this should allow me to find some sweet tinted rocks. I'm not gonna use them to just blow up these pots here, for example. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, it's more exciting, I think, to have a run where, uh, you know, we're actually trying to beat the whole game instead of just copping out halfway through if we end up beating uh, the boss rush. Not that we would finish the, like, we wouldn't quit that run if we beat boss rush, but still, like, the, the real, you know, the cliffhangerness of it would be compromised somewhat. Seriously, Spider? How many times are you going to dodge that shot? That's kind of ridiculous there. Uh, I don't see any tinted rocks. Could be mistaken in that regard, but I don't think I am. Samson is a, a bit of a touchy subject for me right now because we do, uh, you know, we are we are just coming off that run where we had Bloody Lust. Bloody Lust didn't save me on that last run. We died in the dark room. We were, you know, it's kind of deceptive. We should have died. Well, I shouldn't say we shouldn't have. We should have died earlier. But on that run, like, I, I think the way it works is that basically. You have to get like twice as strong, or you have to be twice as strong to beat the dark room as you do to beat Shoal. We were not twice as strong. We were strong enough to beat Shoal, fairly handily in fact, but the dark room handed us our butts, and deservedly so. I made some terrible misplays on that run, combined with a little bit of bad luck. We had some okay items, but people always, you know, they're like, you got the, you got the Halo, how can you lose that run? You're like, man, really? It's like one good item. You gotta string together a lot of good items to deal with some of the bullshit that, uh, that Isaac throws at you. Doesn't really matter if we take damage right now. Just gives us a little bit of a faster means of which to kill Pin. Not that he was that far away from death to begin with. You know, tears plus shot speed up is fine. I probably should have explored the rest of these rooms, huh? Why did I even decide not to? I just wanted to get out of there. There was a room like I didn't want to visit again or something. Well, maybe a black market. A penny for a bomb is not a good trade. You don't need me to tell you that one, probably. Fudge this room forever, man. This is the only room, like, in... Well, never mind. This is the only room in Isaac where I wish that Bloody Lust worked the way it used to work. Yes, we could use a bomb here, but I'm not going to. But if Bloody Lust worked the way it worked in, uh... In Vanilla. Sorry, I think I said in Rebirth. If it worked the way it did in Vanilla, that would be amazing on a room like this. We would get to the damage cap in no time whatsoever. So because we've already taken red heart damage and I've blown it, I'm going to go to our curse room. And that's gonna put us low on HP but high on damage, which is gonna make it a little bit more conceivable that we take out the enemies quickly and you know, it, once you've taken a little bit of red heart damage, it doesn't really hurt to take more red heart damage to improve your chances of not taking uh, red heart damage on the boss fight. Potentially. Thank God we didn't get hit by that. That would have been terrible. A little bit of cat hair doing the Doing the dirty up in my old nostril hole here. Come on now. There we go. Oh my god, that was disgusting. Cat hair is everywhere, man. You think my body would eventually just get used to it? Nope. Uh, okay. The spirit heart is the big part here. Having this extra half spirit heart may give us that second chance at a deal with the devil. If we don't get it, that's fine. What we've got to try our damnedest not to do is the same thing we did on the last run where basically we just ate it, right? We fucked up our second floor deal with the devil and as a result, never quite got the traction necessary to get the deals with the devil later in the game. The rich keep getting richer in Isaac and the earlier you make yourself rich, the more likely you are to do better in the future. Keys, by the way, please. Just some keys. Um, it's possible that our secret room is there and indeed it, it is. That is going to be Mr. Boom, which is not an item that I love, but hey, you know, our bomb situation is looking pretty solid if you ask me. Do you want to... Let's try to throw a bomb down here. Liberty Cap is fine. Luck Up is great. Uh, I think... I think we'll throw, like, Mr. Oh, I hit a bomb instead of Mr. Boom. That's fine. I think we'll throw Mr. Boom down, like, right here. 
Paralysis is not good. I can see forever will allow us to find the second secret room here. And we're going to try to blow up some more of these just to see if we can get some a little bit more valuable. A health upgrade is great. What was the other one? The Emperor? Yeah, it's a little bit of a weird one. I think I can see forever for the next floor is a little bit more valuable. And Liberty Cap could be a pretty big trinket for us as well. But yeah, I think I can see forever for the next floor. A little bit more valuable than a, like holding the Emperor card for the long con. Now, we still do need a key to enter our item room. That's very unfortunate. I'm going to throw a bomb down here. You might be saying, oh, Northern Line, you said you weren't going to waste bombs. This is not a waste. This is protecting the Spirit Heart. If, without using this, we would, uh, we would have to walk in there. Walking in there would put me in a very likely situation to get hit. But with those, all those pots in the way, it's hard to dodge the spiders, you know, sneaking up on you out of nowhere. Drop a key. Drop a key. Mm, you exploded. You might drop a key. The luck upgrade should help long term. I feel like we should be using Mr. Boom every two rooms. Over time, that could end up paying for a lot of good stuff for us. Not to mention tinted rocks and the whatnot. But we do have these, you know, seven bombs to, to supplement the uh, Mr. Boom as well. So we don't necessarily need to use Mr. Boom if we don't need to. It might be nice to save that for boss fights as well. Because Mr. Boom is uh, Mr. Mega Bomb. Which is nothing to sneeze at in the er early game here. But, for example, if we know we're going to get another Mr. Boom charge before the boss fight. Which we, we can be pretty confident we will here. Why not use it to blow up three extra pots? Maybe pick up a little extra cash. Especially when we know we're going to find our secret room with uh, I Can See Forever. So it didn't work out, but that's okay. There's our second secret room. No key. More bombs. Uh, an eternal heart. That's pretty nice, actually. Oh, and we don't get another Mr. Boom charge. Serves me right, I guess. Alright, Widow. Not going to use any bombs here. We're doing enough damage that we should be fine. We may or may not get a deal with the devil. What's my ideal perfect world utopia payout here? Obviously, something like Magic Mushroom would be cool. But um, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to get the crate either. The box. Squeezy. Squeezy's okay. We can't get into that item room. There's just there's no way around it. So I guess we're just going to have to leave this floor. Be content that we got two HP up. That's pretty good. A tears upgrade. Lots of spirit hearts. And we really, really should have a great deal with the Devil Chance this time. That's a funny joke. Secret room is unfortunately not adjacent to the curse room, but it is adjacent over here. We can walk into our shop for free, which is pretty nice. And our item room is all the way over there. So a 9-volt would allow, it is, allow us to use Mr. Boom on every room. I would say it's a non-essential purchase, but at the same time... If we can use, you know, one bomb per room... Sorts out our bomb problems until we choose to get rid of Mr. Boom. Because let's, let's be honest, it's probably not an item we're going to keep for the whole game. If we did, though, being able to use it once per room would actually be pretty good. It could kill a lot of enemies. So we'll, we'll try to make this happen here. This is a good floor for Mr. Boom. Because we can, uh, we can blow up these mushrooms. Possibly pick up some extra HP upgrade pills since we know they exist. Just keys though, please. At some point, we'd, we'd probably want to use uh, Mr. Boom a little bit offensively here. It hasn't come up yet, unfortunately. It would, it would have been nice to use it on this room. If I hadn't wasted it looking for literally one mushroom. Literally one mushroom sounds like a sitcom name about a caterpillar or something that lives in an old mushroom hole. Like, where do you live, sir? Literally one mushroom. Oh, really? Like, where's that? Is that next to East Street? Yeah, it's it's the house that's literally a mushroom. Uh, I'm going to pick this up, and I'm going to throw down one of these bad boys, like, right here. Didn't find any pills, but made my life slightly easier. <clears throat> Without any other, you know, options here. Didn't seem that bad. Oh, careful there. And careful there. That room was annoying. Not a whole lot in Mushroom Town here. Do we have range? Can I stand far away? This floor should be a guaranteed... Oh, come on. <laughs> this floor should be a guaranteed deal with the devil. As long as I can keep my... Uh... Ooh, nice. As long as I can keep my spirit hearts alive here. There should be basically no, no problem making this happen at all. And we'll drop uh, Mr. Boom like right here. Not for a secret room, just for... That sweet pill action. Two range upgrades. 
And I can see forever for the next floor, which I, I'm liking these pills. What can I say? These pretzels are not making me thirsty. We'll use bombs if we have to beat our boss quickly, but I don't think we're going to need to. Another pill. That's another I can see forever, I think. The husk. Easy boss. I will throw a bomb down just to simplify the equation, simply put. That's absolutely A-OK -okay in my book. We'll save the rest of our bombs because you never know when we're going to end up replacing our space bar. This should be us clawing our way out of that shithole and getting a deal with the devil and possibly doing well here. Jesus Juice, very good. Ish, and Guppy's head, and Guppy's collar, and Gupp, okay. Well, you know what? That's pretty okay. <laughs> okay, uh, this is the trademark Northern Lion luck here. I don't think we want to use any of them. And I think we want to roll with Guppy's paw instead of rolling with Mr. Boom. You know, Mr. Boom, it's been fun. And we, we had some cool times. Thinking about what kind of sweet synergies we could do with, Oh, Northern Lion, you got so lucky. Look, I don't disagree, but at the same time, have some sympathy for the fact that we've had zero, zero fucking keys show up on this run. If I wasn't going to get carried by a deal with the devil, this is going to be a long fucking video. This is good. Uh, this, this is great, in fact. I'll be straight with you. I didn't expect that to hurt. I will blow this man up, hopefully get some keys. That's also pretty good. Look, somebody up there is smiling down on me right now. I can't disagree with that. That is a little bit ridiculous there, but... Uh, the guppy action here is, is out of control. The HP upgrades, the freaking uh, everything, it's good. Golden chest, that's a funny joke. I can't laugh at it though because people will be mad because I'm doing pretty well right now. Let's uh, enter our shop. There's no key. Oh, there is a key for sale. There is. Let's go into our item room then. Inside of our item room. BBF. This is an item room worthy item. Not incredible, but uh, can be pretty good, especially if you're below the quote unquote D threshold. Considering how good our pills have been, I think we gotta try. What did I tell you? That's pretty amazing. Well, we're a little low on bombs, no keys, but uh, 7 HP and we're guppy, all because of just the luckiest deal with the devil room we've ever had in our gosh dang lives. Let's head down to the next floor, shall we? Our odds of getting deals with the devil in the future should be enormous, and now that we've had this one, we can start to talk about, you know, trading some of our HP away for some damage, which would be nice because um, that is what we're lacking right now. You know, we have flies. But at the same time, our damage sucks until we get hit like six times. But as long as we have a little bit of a fly army to take from room to room, uh, it, it won't matter too much, but it would be nice to be a little bit more potent, you know? It's going well so far. I've been able to carry like a little bit of a fly surplus around with me, which, which is helping. All right, there's our first secret room. Uh, yeah, that was bad. I forgot that those guys can go over the gaps. That's okay, though. We still got our spirit heart active. Sure, a little bit of that action. We can get into our shop for free again, which can't be overstated how useful that might be. Oh, we have BFF. I've got to get BFF. There's just no way about it. If I don't get it, chat will be so furious that uh, I'll never be able to show my face in this town again. So let's do it. Carry on, queen. Ba -da 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 -da. You sick of this joke yet? Ba -do -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba. Alright, so I would like to use more bombs to kill Carrion Queen, but I'm not going to. Because if I do, I might not have enough bombs to get BFF from our shop. By the way, I recognize, you know, there's a contingent of people. Very ornery that I haven't been as good about donations on that shop as I should be. I'm all about the wins right now. That's there. That's BFF right there. Uh, I'm all about just getting the wins right now. Well, we can do some donation runs pretty dang quickly if I uh, if I know that that's the only thing that matters. I don't think converter is going to be that important. BFF is sweet though. Look, I know it's become an in joke. Oh. Huh. If you're wondering uh, why it's become an in joke, it's because there was one run. I can't remember if I became Guppy or I just had like some item that synergized okay with BFF on my stream, and I bought Sharp Plug instead, and then people went like, Why'd you, why didn't you get BFF? And I've responded to it, and as a result, now it's become its own thing. Uh, if we find an arcade, that could be good. Um, but, to be fair, BFF's not so bad. 
it's a big freaking funny item sometimes, and uh, I'm happy to I'm happy to be able to pick it up. It seems to show up rarely on my runs, uh, recently ever since the joke started. But uh, I, I think it's the right pickup instead of instead of uh, converter there, especially when we have no spirit hearts. I mean, it's fairly obvious probably how to draw your own conclusions on that one, but you get the idea. Able, you know. It's got to show up. You got to pay the Krampus tax once per run. You got to pay the Able tax once per run. You got to pay the Infamy tax once per run, and you got to fight Monstro on the second floor. There's just some immutable truths truths about life that uh, you, you can't avoid, no matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. Design the ba ba da. I haven't played uh, or I haven't listened to Lincoln Park in a little while. I apologize. Do we know these. Do we know these. Parals is not good. There's like no good pills left in our rotation. This has to be bad. It's just science. On the bright side, we know never to take that again. What did, why'd you take it if you knew it was bad? Well, what if it was Balls of Steel? I didn't know it was bad. I was just, you know, statistically we had so many good upgrades that I assumed it, it had to be bad. Fool card. So here's the deal with the Fool card. It allows us to go into the boss rush room, steal an item, and leave. We would have to be extraordinarily... Oh, come on here. We'd have to be extraordinarily fast to actually be able to do that now. Because we're already... We, we went pretty slow through the first little bit of this game. Um... But it could happen. So, you know, keep your uh, keep your hopes up, I guess. Could get full HP, it doesn't really matter. We're going down to the next floor. Things should start to move a little quickly, but uh, our, our base damage is still pretty bad. We're still very much in the market ooh, for items like Small Rock, for example. Okie dokie. Key's nice, too. Uh, don't get me wrong there. Uh, we're still very much in the market for items like, uh, you know, Too Hard Deal with the Devil items. Or a couple of black hearts that can help me clear out some rooms quickly. Those could also be nice. Now, the more likely scenario is that we'll probably end up using our Fool card to get out of a curse room later in the game. Save ourselves one full HP. Easy. That's uh, health down. There are reasons you would take that health down pill, but uh, we're not close to making those reasons work for us. And if I get nine lives, I'm not picking it up at this point. I gotta say, I think the boss rush room doesn't really get that much respect. It doesn't get as much respect as I would give it. Well, as I clearly do give it, because I talk about it, like, disproportionately way too much than it actually deserves. Um, but I really feel like if you have to, if you skip an item room to get into the boss rush room, it's worth it. If you can teleport out, or even if you can't, as long as you're strong. Really? A deal with the angel? Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Sacred Heart is solid! Uh... What am I talking about with my whole boss rush strategy? If you skip one item room to get to a boss rush room, you then have a choice of four items for zero keys. All you gotta do is teleport out. I think it's a worthwhile choice most of the time. The reason I'm not doing it right now is because I think we might be able to have our cake and eat it too. I think we might be able to go to our boss room, or our item room on this floor, and still get to the boss. And on the next floor, the item room could possibly be on the way to the, to the boss room, you know? Um, it's gonna be tight, and if it doesn't work, whatever. You know, it doesn't really matter that much. Sacred Heart, so it's a good item, but it's, it's... I, I can't help but feel that it's been nerfed, but maybe I just didn't have it that much in vanilla, so it's it's kind of hard to tell, and I haven't had it that much in uh, in Rebirth either. I mean, it's given us good damage, and I'm loving the, the fact that we have the flies to synergize with it. Obviously, you know, they're going kind of crazy here, it's good. Um, yeah, maybe I should just shut my mouth and stop complaining about the fact that in our deal with the Angel, we just got maybe one of the more potent uh, damage upgrades in the game, huh? Let's keep things in perspective here. This run could be going a lot worse right now. Okay, Cricket's body is great. And this run is now, if I may say, officially off the chain. The other good thing about using the Fool card is that we can actually get back to our item room as a result of it. So, uh, if, if we just bum rush the boss rush room as quickly as possible. I would love to steal some item that gives us an even better synergy than we already have and then just go for the fucking goal here, man. I think we're uh, in a very good position. We're taking the negative, no sorry, we're taking the Polaroid and we're headed down to the chest. It's gonna be tight to see if we can get into that uh, boss rush room. It's really gonna rely on picking the right direction on the first or second room out of our uh, out of our center. That's okay though, I think we can do it. Steps two should be a little faster this way. Oh, we can see the the compass, so we should take a second here. Could save us a lot in the meantime. It's on the right side. 
That was real smart of me. So I'm assuming we go over this way. At least we know that, you know, we're not going to push ourselves to the left. Guys, I hit the Q key by accident. And as a result, feel like a big freaking idiot. I literally just put my hand down on top of the Q key. What I'm going to do now is go to our item room first. Which is adjacent to this room right here. Come on, pin. Yeah, don't even fuck with me here. Uh, and then I'm going to go to our boss rush room. And if we have to, then we'll fight in it and get whatever good item is on it, if there is a good item. Mom's contact is so good. The game, the game is good, my friends. The game is good here. This is incredible. But I feel like a big idiot because I could have gotten that boss room, boss rush item for free. Oh well, I guess. Shit happens, you know? You gotta pop up if we're gonna do this. Thank you. One fly was enough to do that, so I'm feeling pretty amazed with our damage right now. Alright, please die faster. Than oh, this is pretty good. Oh, 18's... Ah, we have plenty of time. Plenty of time right now. More bombs, the better. The more keys, the better, because I'm going to want to get carried on the chest. All right, let's do this. I know we're, gonna, we're not going to our shop here. That's not laziness. It's me trying to expedite our trip to the boss rush room. We are taking the Polaroid, and then let's see what we got in here. So, okay. It's between Dead Onion and... Is that Capricorn? Scorpio. All right. So, in, in hindsight, might have preferred Dead Onion. But Dead Onion does come with a pretty considerable shot speed downgrade. And I think Poison Tears are the other acceptable choice. I thought it was Capricorn, and I was excited for the all stats upgrade. But um, I knew I knew it was either Scorpio or Capricorn. So it was like, well, you know, they're, they're both good. Dead Onion's fine. The shot speed downgrade is a little annoying. That's about it. I forget what, what else was even in there. Um, little, little Chub is a great item. And in, an, in a different boss rush room where there weren't two stellar can, candidates, I might have considered uh, going through with that. But not on this one. We're extremely lucky. And we might be smarter to stand a little further away. But we're extremely lucky to pretty much just be able to stand right in the middle. And uh, any enemy that spawns dies before it gets a chance to attack once. Now, it's not been good for my spirit hearts to do this. Uh, but it is getting the job done pretty freaking quickly when it comes to getting the kills. And we're very lucky enough, uh, or very lucky here to not really have to worry about our HP, truth be told. And we're even luckier not to have to worry about our freaking fly generation. We are just, we're going ham on that regard. We are all, this is going to be the fastest boss rush room we've ever had. I, I feel largely 100% confident in saying that. Get death killed as soon as possible, please. Thank you. And war soon to follow. We can get the fallen taken care of before any of his minions get a chance to do anything. Come on, dog. What do you think was gonna happen? Blank card. Interesting item, but I'm really loving, uh, really loving Guppy's head right now. Got to admit, we are just barely above 20 minutes now. There's a tinted rock. Lucky me. I'd say that was probably worth it. We'll be heading down to the next floor, feeling very good about the way things are going. Just remember that we are going to be going up to the cathedral. I'm talking to myself. And if you get the left hand, for fark's sake, remember to drop it. BBF is another item we have to pay close attention to because it can pretty easily go off in our face and cause a little bit of trouble. But let's be honest. We're kind of kicking ass right now. Is paralysis just a, like a legit bad pill? Because I've never really found an opportunity to use it. Looking for tinted rocks. I, not not to say, like, I've never found a good opportunity for, you know, making myself freeze. But does it make enemies freeze, too? Because there might be a small chance of, like, that being useful if you have, uh, I don't know, Gemini or something. But I'm just, I'm spitballing here. That's, uh, luck up, which is great. And speed down, which is meaningless. Relatively inconsequential to me at this point in my life. I would... Very much like to get a deal with the devil, if it's at all possible. We have not taken red heart damage on this floor yet, but we don't have any spirit hearts to protect us anymore. That could change. I don't see any tinted rocks on this room, unfortunately. We don't need another deal with the devil to win. Or deal with the angel, I guess, at this point to win. But if we got Holy Mantle or something like that, we'd be in a pretty incredible position. That's, um, that's English for incredible. Now... 
Demon judgments don't count as red heart damage. But I also don't want to be the guy who ruins his uh, amazing run trying to be a smart ass playing a demon judgment, right? Like, it could be good for us, but it could also be soul crushing. Wheel of Fortune is something I'll save for the uh, the chest. We might play that a little bit. It's tempting, I can't deny that it's tempting, but I don't wanna die in a hubristical fashion. That's not probably a real word, much less a real song. Now, the only real song, as far as I'm concerned, is Rob Thomas featuring Carlos Santana, smooth. Sorry, it actually is Carlos Santana. Featuring Rob Thomas. That's my mistake. I want to give credit where credit is due for such a masterwork. It's like saying that, uh, you know, Hero from the Spider Man 1 soundtrack is that dude from Saliva featuring Chad Kroger, not Chad Kroger featuring that dude from Saliva. You got the, you got the verse orders all inverted. Well, look. Dollars to donuts. That's probably Mr. Fred over there. I don't see any tinted rocks. Let's go to town and we'll uh, just hope that we can do this without taking damage. It should be like beyond conceivable that we do. Just better safe than sorry, you know. There we go. Easy. Deal with the devil. Uh, no. What do you think, guys? I think I'm just going to head down to the next floor. I don't trust myself. I'm going to go. The lack of a deal with the devil or angel. Not really that big of a, a weight on my uh, conscience right now. Conscience right now. We're doing fantastically. Probably should not have been able to dodge those bullets, but I did. And I'm looking forward to hopefully getting to the chest with the same number of keys that we have now, or more. Because that's really where a, a lot of the fun comes for me is on an, a run that's already overpowered, getting on the chest and just being like, oh, now the game has decided that it's given up too, and as a result, we're just going to have fun together, which is good. Uh, I do want to open that, but we can't justify it yet. For one spirit heart, or one red heart, I, I will definitely do this. It's not a big deal at all. Uh, we get a little bit of a damage upgrade even for it, and... Our HP will come back to us if we just wait a little bit. We have Polaroid, so a half heart interval is not the worst thing in the world. And there's our boss fight. Very, very quick, very easy. No red hearts, that's okay. Could have used that money for judgment on the last floor, but hey, here we are. That was pretty good. And the stupid thing about it is that we still got like a pretty nice fly army following us around here. I wonder if luck in increases the rate of our fly spawning or something, or the chance. Curse of the Unknown. We can't see our HP. Um, it doesn't matter. On this floor, we're not going to die. I don't really care about this HP, by the way. I think I will take Pinky Eye with me. Uh, it probably doesn't synergize. Liberty Cap, maybe, for the occasional compass effects might be better. Um, I got a little ahead of myself, because normally I would value... No, nah, thank you. Normally I would value... Uh, Pinky Eye way above Liberty Cap, but... This is uh, it's a different situation. We already have poison tears. This is this is really good. I like when enemies take a little longer than usual to die because I can just look around and be like, okay, is there a tinted rock available? And I don't see one typically because I'm nearly blind. That's not true, by the way. I, I am a little vision impaired. That's about it. Still don't see any tinted rocks on this room. And wow, that's a very quick boss fight. Decent number of flies to take in here. I'm ready. I hope he's ready, because this is not going to go well if he's not. This is already over, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, we, we've won this run. There's no question about it. And that's very nice, because the first three floors were looking not so hot. But hey, we picked it up and uh, tried again. And hey, I actually get to open golden chests on the chest for once. That's a new one. Mysterious Liquid, HP, Piggy Bank. Uh, that's Stompy. Throw down Wheel of Fortune and just explode it right away. 99 bombs. Uh, we'll take 99 bombs. I kind of want to leave all of those there. Now, that seems very stupid. None of them on paper are really bad items. It's just none of them are good. Is that Stompy? I think it's Stompy. Kind of looks like a lion's tail or something like that. Uh, we can wait to pick up less than three until we actually need some HP. So there's there's some reasoning there. But also I'm thinking there is a small chance that we end up getting a D6 or something like that. And then we can reroll everything. But if we have to take the stuff that we got in there, we'll take it. It's 
pretty much what it comes down to. This stuff's not bad, but we also there's no need that for us to have it right now. We can we can easily wait on that for a little while. All right, spirit heart probably meaningless. This is one of the most overpowered runs I've ever had. It's it's not number one, uh, and a little bit less zany than I'd like. But hey, that deal with the devil will uh, that'll go down in infamy as one of the best deals with the devil I, I've ever had. What what's gonna be my number two deal with the devil? Mom's knife. <laughs> Number one, all the guppy items for free. Number two, mom's knife. Or that mom's knife, like Abaddon ceremonial robes, robes room, robes room. We had that one time it was pretty sweet too. You know, what? I'm not even gonna go back for the items. There's just no point. It's too easy. We're already done with this. Let's let's go in here and do it up. What are you gonna do to me now? How do you like me now? Poster notes getting filled. That was just stupid. I'm I'm so happy with that run. I had a great time. If you did, well then, hey, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Samson is filled up. We got Lazarus. We got Kane. We're coming to the tail end here. We'll probably do a Lazarus Lazarus boss rush room next time. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.